Hallelujah. God bless you. My name is Apostle Cedric. I bring you a prophetic word in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your son, your daughter that is watching this video right now. I speak that your prophetic word will reach them at the point of their need in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for being a part of this family. God bless you. Stop going to this place. Stop going to this place. Now, I want you to understand that there are certain things you do that um, you know proves your value, your self-worth, your self-value. There are many of us who don't value ourselves, and it's proven by how we consistently revisit places where we are dishonored. Hallelujah. Honor is a language. Dishonor is a language. Every time you feel dishonored somewhere, do not go there a second time. Even Jesus doesn't revisit a place where he is dishonored. Don't go to the place where you are dishonored. Your anointing, your gift, and your abilities can never manifest in the places of your dishonor. Bible declares that not mighty miracles could Jesus do in his own hometown. Do you know why? Because they dishonored him as the Messiah. I want you to understand that every time you step into a place where there is no honor, you step into a place where you will not manifest power. Every time you step into a place where there is no honor, you step into a place where there will be no reward for you. Don't go to the place where you are not honored. Don't go to that place anymore. Number two, don't go to a place where you are pitied. There is just very little that people can do for you when they pity you. There are people who pity you because of what you are going through and because of the state you will find yourself in right now. Don't be with a man who is dating you because he pities you. Don't date a woman because you pity her. Don't be with somebody because they pity you. It is a very bad thing to do. Next thing, don't go to the place where you don't feel the move and the presence of the Holy Spirit. It is very risky to be in a place where God is not. The absence of God in a place is a sign that his people should not be there. Every time God is not in the place, wherever Jesus is not Lord, wherever people don't acknowledge God, you should never dwell in such places. This is a specific prophetic word to somebody here. As you yield to this word and this instruction, let there be a manifestation of power in your life in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you and I'm praying for you. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. God bless you.